Oh yeah, I should. I gotta tweet the thing. I gotta tweet the thing. Very important. <laughs> My followers get upset with me if I don't tweet it out when I go live. But I'm like, you're in the chat room. It really, <laughs> you got here, didn't you? I love this little dude. He's very, he's very pink. He is, and the monitor I designed him on has a. Uh, it's not color corrected, so it's more. It's like a yellow tinted monitor. Oh. So it's a, it's a lot softer looking. And then I throw him onto any other monitor, and he's like this harsh, harsh. <laughs> he's like, like super pink. Yeah. yeah. Allison, give me a boomer. I'm going for it. All right. Or a something. I don't care what. Unless it's the scythe. Oh my god. Scythe is the best. I hurt myself on the scythe. It's it's. Oh, you're, it's well, you're not friendly to fire. <laughs> Here, I'll vote for the scythe for you. Oh no. <laughs> Get more practice in. By the way, these guys are super cute. Oh, so we you're were... having fun killing them? Yeah. <laughs> we were we were talking about how it was really adorable that um, like, they so had adorable. teeth without a mouth. Oh wait, I have this here. The magic of cameras. You can see. Kind of a spoiler because you haven't <gasps> seen this guy yet, but he's um. Oh no. Take the dog fur off. Here's this guy. The oh, he's so oh. I love his little hands even. Oh, is, yeah, that like a, is that like a one-off plushie, or is that one of your guys' faces? <laughs> yeah, he's he's Cerberus, so his fists are heads, Aww. too. And he punches you and stuff. Uh, he used to be the boss in the game. Uh, he was kind of like a placeholder. Oh, there's Emma! A, Sorry. There's a plushie now of him, so it's like... Maybe I, have to, I should keep him in the game, since it's the only physical thing I have. <laughs> I like that plushie. I would totally um, own that plushie. This is... Yeah. This is one of a kind. This is made from the plushie maker for the behemoth like oh Castle really and stuff. Aww, that's uh, Anna, the red and she she saw the kickstarter <laughs> and she was like i have to make a plushie so <laughs> oh, she made one awesome. of them she finally saw me like eight months later to hand deliver it when i was in la for that weekend Aww, so that had to feel good also she hi Anna. in her hand it was awesome do you, do you prefer bean or do you prefer michael <laughs> oh bean is fine is that like that Ender's way, game i know bean? you're talking to me or mr bean <laughs> Uh, just Bean. Let's not be formal. Uh, <laughs> no. It's it was a uh, an old nickname from fifth grade. Oh, all right. Uh, and I think they were making fun of me. They're like, "Hey, you look like Mr. Bean." I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> Mr. Bean's a badass. Um, and then and then just it wasn't just people who wanted to hurt my feelings. It just caught on, and it's just like friends, family, <laughs> coworkers, professors, whatever. Um, just Bean. So that's just a name, and then, you know, it was my AOL screen name, and then one Mr. Bean is what, where that came from. Uh, and then I just use that name in every single place. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, however we're doing it. <laughs> uh, side note for anyone who's just joining us, we're playing a, a Close Chamber, and we've got Michael, who's one of the creators, or, I don't know, do you want to be dubbed the creator? I, I couldn't tell. I, on the Kickstarter, you had a whole team listed. But, uh... Oh, yeah, and that team has grown. Uh, but, I mean, I'm doing, like, 90% of the work. You're the father. He's the father of the game. Uh, <laughs> like, I got the idea. I shared it with Chelsea, the uh, designer who's helping us. Um, yeah, I mean, when I'm working on one game, I'll... Hi, Ben! ...get ideas about another one. And then... And once you finish that game, then you're like, what do I actually have to, I have to, you know, pick one of the ideas and make it. Mm -hmm, and you yeah. start throwing them out even faster. And then I'd always pitch the ideas to Chelsea and she would, she would always listen. You know, I was like, oh, what about a game where you do this? <laughs> and she's just like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and then one day, and I always start the same way. I'm like, this is the one, like, this is the game. <laughs> this is going to be the best I was game. Just like, down? Hold on. <laughs> I was like, this is the game. It's a game. <laughs> <laughs> you play on Twitch, and people type stuff in the chat room to play the game with you at the same time. She's like, yes. Like, finally, she's like, <laughs> Finally, yes, that, that I agree. This is the one. <laughs> that is the one. Uh, so that was December two years ago. Um, and that was before the whole, like, Twitch plays Pokemon thing. So it was really hard to describe it quickly to people, like how uh -huh. the game, what makes it interesting. You kind of need yeah. to be in the chat room and play it for a few minutes, and then you'll get it. So do you love um, or hate if when people ask, is it like Twitch plays Pokemon? Uh, I get that question nine out of ten times, like when I <laughs> demo it at festivals and things like that. Um, it's good, and yeah, they always ask, like, fun. were you were you inspired by it? And I say, no, it was inspired by me. <laughs> right. uh, Let's get this. Let's get this straight here. 
<laughs> oh, I like this big dude that's just hanging out here. Oh, he's yeah, playing he, peekaboo with me. Totem. Oh, oh, why is there a fist? Holy hell! <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that was a special. You better thank your chat room for that. No one. kidding. Thanks, chat. <laughs> I thought it was uh, coming after me, that's... so I was really sad for a second. That's appropriately called the fist. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the pants off of me. Uh, they can only do it once per gameplay session, so uh, not until you get another a game over. Oh, that was Which won't be for a while because you're currently at your your high score. Yeah. Oh shit. And you you just got hit by a fireball and didn't die. I'm just gonna say that out loud. Uh, what, uh, yeah, oh, no, it's okay, I made up for it, I made up for it. Uh, so I have a question about, uh, art style. Um, yes. Was that, was that, GG. You, you said it was your direction as far as I gotta choosing, around. choosing the way it's, it, it is, like? Yeah, I would say the colors, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, the character designs, like the main character and all the enemies are done by another guy, Kent. Uh, he oh, okay. did a bunch of initial like black and white sketches, mm -hmm. uh, and I asked him to come up with a whole bunch of ideas because it's such an open thing. I was like, just come up with like fish, <laughs> fish out of water. Uh, yeah, just do it. What was the phrase I used? <laughs> Reluctant hero was the way I referred oh, to it. Oh, Ben! Like, just, just come up with all these things. Ben, yeah. voting for the scythe. Why? You know oh, how much yeah. I hate Thanks the scythe. The, <laughs> the, the, the toenails. No, not the toenails. Uh, They're gonna wreck me. Yeah, so he came up with a whole bunch, and they're all really cool, like ones like a, a businessman who wasn't ready, like he was on his lunch break, so he doesn't have all his stuff with him. There's like an astronaut without his helmet. All these interesting things, like people who weren't expecting to be thrown into this. But then there was this uh, a desert wanderer, traveler, prisoner type thing, and he used to have like a shackle around his leg. Uh, oh. like that. Uh, but I liked him, because he doesn't feel like he belongs in this world, and I wanted him to feel like he's from elsewhere. Yeah. He always has this look of, kind of, oh my god, um, what am I doing here? <laughs> Just gotta kill these things. Yeah. I like his, his animations. I think it was... God, I can't remember what it is. It might be the sword swing. There's one part where he has like a blowback look to him, like he's just caught in an explosion. And sometimes oh. when the frame like freezes on that for just a second, I'm like, oh, that is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people like the uh, the hammer one because that's the one. That is the back, one. He, when like, he's he like... throws both of his legs up in the air, <laughs> like he's doing this crazy cartoon. Oh, thing. the hammer is so hard. Yeah, the the like semi low frame rate of him and like just the overzealous nature of his animation kind of reminds me of old school uh, cartoons. Oh well, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I, I like it. Oh, absolutely. Oh, double yeah, jump! I mean, every time I look at it, it looks like. Oh, fuck dive. It looks like it is from the 30s. I'm like, that's not a game. <laughs> cool. So that was, that was good practice on the city. Did you? I but, can't. I don't know why I can't remember that I walk faster than the side. Yeah, that was definitely on purpose. I, I bet. Um, yeah, all you gotta do is remember, uh, especially when you clear the room, because it freezes and it does a little cutscene where the door opens. Mm -hmm. And like, that's the best time to forget that there's a crescent right in front of you. <laughs> the side. So just, just keep in mind. Once you regain control, don't uh, run forward in, in glee. Because I, I do I'll try. <laughs> when, I, when I play on stream, I'm so happy with the scythe because I'm doing so well with it because it's so powerful. And then I just run right right into my own. I'm going to get a game over. Like everyone says, the scythe is too overpowered. I'm like, no, it's not. Um, how many people have you have you had at once on this? Um, For my channel, 1,900, I think, concurrently. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was only because I was on the front page at the time. Normally, I'll get maybe fifteen to twenty viewers. That's uh -huh. what, I'm used to this amount of people that we have right now. Mm -hmm. like... um, but then I've seen other bigger Twitch personalities play it, and the record now is eighteen thousand people in one game. Wow! Uh, and the and like the chat's just going crazy. You cannot read a thing. You can't read anything. Uh, and like all the numbers in the corner of the game where it says the number of entries, it's just like this number that just keeps going up. It's just ticker. Uh, so that was ticker. fun to see. I was happy the game didn't break. It was very... Yeah, I was wondering if uh, if at some point the game would have issues. Uh, no, except the streamer usually has an issue with uh, their chat window. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> there's so much text going by, it actually slows their computer down. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. uh, which is weird because, like, I don't know, maybe... 
the stress of streaming and then running a game and having the chat open, it's like too many things. Because when I'm watching that 18,000 person stream, it's it's running fine. Like the video is not stuttering at all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so a lot of people say it's a fun game, but it's it slows down and I can't play. And I'm like, well, you're just too popular, damn it. <laughs> Stop gotta... being so popular. <laughs> What's the craziest combo you've seen someone complete the game with? Uh, the game can't be completed, but I've seen some very interesting, uh, it, the game goes on forever. Oh, that's good <laughs> uh, to know. <laughs> well, technically, technically, you have completed one loop of the game after 100 rooms, which no one has, has done on the current version. Oh, that's insane. Um, Do you get, like, a notification email when it happens? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just watch people play on Twitch. I mean, maybe someone's played offline and they just haven't told the world yet, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, I like, I mean, I probably have the most amount of hours logged in the game. Uh, <laughs> and my best my best was, you know, around 45, 50 rooms. So uh, there's a lot of tweaking that needs to go on. Plus, most of the second half of the game oh, hasn't no. uh, been implemented yet. Uh, uh, but the, to answer the question, let's see. So what's the craziest combo? All right, so I can tell you what the worst combo is. Is it um, Pogo and Boomerang? <laughs> no, that's not too bad. The worst oh. is Pogo and... Uh, Bow, the bow and arrow, because oh, uh, that's the that weakest, yet. the weakest uh, and, uh, weapon. Uh, but then also combining with that, pitted rooms, large rooms, or well, big rooms, I guess they're called, uh, as well as oh no, let's call them flaming, not pitted, because uh, then there's more lava pits. Like uh, with the ice, the ice uh, power, because when you turn enemies into ice cubes, you can't move through them anymore. Oh jeez. And so what ends up happening is you turn the huskies into ice cubes, and there's all these little pillars, <laughs> and then. Like, it, it would be an easy jump, but then you're not thinking, and then you keep shooting, they turn to an ice cube, and, it, and then you can't move, and then you fall straight down. And that just oh, keeps no. happening over and over, where you're creating your own, like, death traps, you know. <laughs> oh, what is this? This looks terrible. Looks like I don't want to step anywhere. Ah. Oh. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm worried that that's lava. Nope. Oh. So you're gonna have to brave you're it. just afraid of everything. I am. I'm, I'm afraid of everything right now. Ah! It was open, and I... That guy's the worst. <laughs> Just jumped right in your face. Yeah. Hey, the new record though. That's <laughs> yeah, progress. it is. Thirteen. Yeah. I feel bad mm -hmm. when you do better than you ever did before. Ever, <laughs> ever, ever before. Ever. <laughs> uh, I don't know if if uh, you guys got into that conversation where I wasn't paying attention, but she was checking out some of your other games. I was. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Cool. There, I looked at um, ribbons, which I yep. was like, I am so adorable. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Scaling the sky, scaling the sky, and yeah. um, and I was nerding out about the music to Amanda earlier because um, it sounds very much like uh, there's an artist down there in San Francisco for, um, that's Tycho, and that music sounds very much like his style, like oh. very sort of ambient. What a compliment! That was actually <laughs> done by Chelsea. Nice, um, that's awesome. I got really yeah, excited. She... <laughs> I love Tycho. Oh, I, I knew it! Too. I knew it! <laughs> we were well, like, if he like doesn't know Tycho. I knew it. It's like, oh, I love the Beatles, I love Tycho. It's like these, these artists you just can only like. I'm like, I bet, I bet he likes Tycho. <laughs> <laughs> if not, it would have been like, wait, hold on. You need to hold on, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> yeah. stop everything. Yeah. See if you can hear Tycho. <laughs> like, uh, I think Dive is on my, my rotation for coding music. Nice. Yeah, oh, so good. it's such good focus music. All of, all those, all the music's so good. Yep. I had a uh, a joke version of this game because the Kickstarter went through April Fool's Day. Mm -hmm. So on April Fool's, I made a game, of a spinoff of this called Twitch Plays Choice Chamber, uh -huh. where it's like <laughs> Twitch Plays Pokemon, but they just give the controls. Oh, like left, God. right, attack, jump. How did that and go? Then, well, no one got past the uh, the first room. <laughs> Uh, but I thought it was a wonderful joke. And everyone's <laughs> like, "What? This game's terrible. Why would this ever be kickstarted?" I'm like, "Oh, well, this is failing. Not <laughs> this like, is no, exactly no, no, the no. response I wanted." Look at the look at the date, please. <laughs> oh, I'm just having a lot of fun. And then once I add new character, I don't know why the money keeps falling to the floor like that. That's really <laughs> not supposed <laughs> to happen. Um, I figured it was just because I didn't get to it fast enough. Yeah. So once I add the additional characters in the game. Um. And I think they're all going to be female, by the way. Yay! That's what we, we agreed on. The, the first, this guy, or gal, this is an androgynous character named Kenty. Uh, named after Kent, but ends with an I, so who knows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we want the, the other three to be female characters with awesome. different, like, attributes and stats that they start with. 
Uh, so maybe faster, different jumping abilities and, you know. Do you need a bridge? I might need a bridge. Yeah, so... I think probably the most influential game for me, like, making games, uh, is a game called The Neverhood, which is a stop-motion clay game from, like, 95, 97. Wow, that sounds cool. And, uh, you know yeah. Earthworm Jim? Yeah. Yeah, so it's that same, uh, character designer. Oh, cool. Uh, so it's, so it's his, like, Earthworm Jim style, but it's, like, a whole team of, uh, uh, <laughs> You know, stop motion animators. Oh wait, Sam says it's like one of my favorite games too. Hey, that's awesome. In caps. Oh, you guys are BFFs. I played, I played so much of that game. <laughs> Sam, next time we see each other, we're talking about the Neverhood because we can also talk about Armacrog. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> and Armacrog, by the way, is the spiritual sequel to that game, the Neverhood. So like 20 years later, the team is like back together. They had a Kickstarter, Ooh, and that... they got the whole team together, including the original bluegrass folk blues musician nice uh, very strange soundtrack very strange game lots of great humor great movement and everything and so that i just love that so much uh so my style of like animation and like quirkiness and stuff i think is really look at new record new look record here. every time yeah. every time by That's one right. i increment by one <laughs> right, break um so i'm excited about the game armacrog coming out um just because it's the little kid in me is like, oh, this reason why I I do these creative things at all yeah. Yeah, is finally absolutely. a second a second voice. Um, unfortunately, EA owns the rights to the original game, The Neverhood, even though they're never going to do anything with it. They just own it because they bought out the original company, uh -huh. and like like they asked, hey, can we have you know the IP back because you're just you just have it. Yeah, you're and, sitting on and, it. Yeah, and they're like, of course not. Oh, no. wasn't that what happened with um? Don the chat is an immune system for your game. That's pretty funny. Oh, there's a thing up there. I still want to do some type of actual punishment. Like they vote on what your punishment is. Oh. <laughs> so if anyone tries to like. That'd be fun. If anyone has like this like pact with their chat, like they're like, hey, let's go for the highest score ever. You know, so you yeah. jump all these treasure chests, and then like they have to vote on your punishment, like which is always bad, no matter what they pick. Mm -hmm. And even if you pick nothing, it just randomly picks from all of them. Uh, so like maybe it takes away all of your stats and reduces you to nothing, or it takes all your hearts down to one. And my favorite one is where it actually quits the game completely, <laughs> like not game over, like quits all to four. <laughs> Because you can oh do gosh. that, you can just like have the code close the game, um, which funny. I think is hilarious. I think that would be really funny. That. Like you open the treasure chest and then it just like closes. Um, <laughs> but I think it's a little too mean because for streamers, like sometimes the the program closes and then it shows your like your desktop and you don't want to show that or it shows some <laughs> other information because yeah. you're like you're not ready for the thing to just close. So. Could be not, yeah. <laughs> Look at you taking that I leap did it. of faith. So I finally started putting in the different like backgrounds and things that happen. And uh nice. Actually, was that last update? Maybe it's in this one. <laughs> well, I forget now. Well, I certainly cleaned it up a bit, so that's a little bit nicer. Um uh, cuz every 25 rooms it's supposed to be like a different theme, so this one's castle themed and 26 through 50 is uh kind of mechanical cogs and chains and rusty stuff, rivet panels and things like that. Um, and the third one I think is nature based, and then the fourth one is basically hell. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's just fiery good. inferno volcanoes, and you know. That sounds like it would have been really fun to design. <laughs> I'm, I don't even feel right calling it beta five because so little has gone into it. So I'm actually just calling it beta four point five to further confuse people. Nice. Uh, just to let them know, it's like it's it's a half update. It's there's a lot of little things that have been changed, but nothing nothing major. Because uh, I wanted to get the, the second boss in already uh, at room 50, which I've never even gotten to on my own. <laughs> you know, um, they'll just have to be March. And like for March, I'm going to be gone for the first week of March. GDC? Going to GDC. Yeah, buddy. I'll see you there. Cool. Nice. At least if you're there I'll till be... Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm there all week. Are you going to the Wild Rumpus? Yeah, I got Wild Rumpus tickets. Like I didn't even know that was a thing because I've never been to GDC, but uh, I'm going oh. with uh, 
a couple friends of mine, and they're like, you have to get Wild Rumpus tickets. You have to. It is it is the best part of GTC, by far. I'm excited. What is I it? I'm curious. Uh, it is a party at night with pretty much just the indie game scene, both developers, players, and everyone who's part of it in some way, shape, or form. So you get, because GDC is like, you know, like nice. 80% corporate, uh, you know, suits and ties and stuff. Right. And then there's that little indie corner, the Indies Game Summit. Right. Um, but Wild Rumpus is where all the indies go. Uh, and it's just, like a crazy party. Just one big party. There's lots, of, there's lots of multiplayer games to play. There's like loud music. Lots of nice. bars everywhere in the facility. Um, nice. Always a fun time. Always a fun time. You get to see everyone just have fun and let loose. Cool. And it's Wednesday right after the, the awards finish. Oh, nice. Because you've got the GDC awards and the uh, IGF awards in a row. And oh, then gosh. Wild Office is right after that. Pogo nice. and Bo. Pogo and Bo. I don't <laughs> understand why it works, but it does. Oh, uh, fair enough. Okay. I don't think I... I don't have time to start another one, so... <laughs> I mean, I could. I could die super fast and just be like, hey, what's up? But uh, <laughs> I think I will I will save myself um, from that. Wow. Okay. Um... So this game is still is early access, or I don't know because I kickstarted it, so I don't know actually what where it's at. It is available for pre-order at ChoiceChamber.com. It's not on Steam for early access, to use that exact term. But when oh. you pre-order, you get this, you get the latest beta through Humble. Oh yeah, that Humble. And uh, like, how far along do you think it is? Like, you think you're? I mean, I know you're never done with the game, but. Uh... Well... <laughs> <laughs> How far are we from 1.0? <laughs> yeah. Um, that date just keeps on slipping. <laughs> As it uh, does. Percentage-wise, let's say 50. I put you right on the spot. <laughs> nice. 50. Uh, you know what? I really, I always want the percentage to be higher, but I always, there's just so much. Because I have all this stuff from the Kickstarter backers who are helping design stuff. Mm -hmm. and then there's also the base stuff that needs to happen. And now we're going on one year on and off of working on the game. Mm -hmm. Closer to nine months, I guess. But um, Oh, that's not long. I thought it was longer for some reason. That's nice. That's I mean, I started... Full, um, there was the Kickstarter in March. I mean, I spent a month running the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And then right after I took a month off, because I was I already had a planned trip around Asia for a month. Ooh. And then I moved across the country after that. Uh, so that was, you know, a bunch of months of in a row of not being able to really sit down and work on it. So I didn't really start working on it until July, so it hasn't really been, I guess, that long. Um, That's pretty yeah, nice still progress. plenty more to do. I'm excited. I'm going to keep tabs on it, for sure. It's a good... It's a good. I like being able to interact with the, the Twitch peoples when you're playing. I like it. I gotta, I'm going to research other games, too. Um, I'm glad you like more. that. Anyway, uh, we're a little bit over on our time, so we're going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Super yeah. privilege. It was awesome to yeah, meet you. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, I'll be sure to, if I see you at GDC, I'll be like, remember me? I was the one that was sucking at your game for two hours. <laughs> yes, just introduce yourself like that. And you'll remember. I'll know exactly who you are. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, Specklefire and uh, Princess Psych, both of you guys. Wait, Princess Psych? Oh, Princess Psych's a, uh, a regular on my channel. Okay. I, I know someone whose last name is Ike, so I thought for a second... That was, but no. <laughs> but yeah, thanks you guys for hanging out and keeping the choices going. And um, I will talk to everybody else later.